Alright guys, so we are doing bushings for this vehicle and I wanted to show you guys He was waking up the neighbors <laughs> But I wanted to show you I want to show you guys what binding means and a visual representation of what binding is Look at that That does not help the car handle better that is complete and utter garbage for performance it's comfortable but that sucks and the, and the, the bottom one is just the same so we're gonna do bushings and I'll show you what the difference is once I finish I couldn't finish this side right now but most of the day, Geo spent working on that silver car back there, but. And uh, Instagram? Instagram, yes. Okay. So, what? Then don't forget to add Instagram. Yes, that Instagram. Instagram, eh? So, you can, let me see if I can. All right, so you guys can see there, right? So, when it comes to suspension and the travel of the control arms and the shocks, see this one doesn't have a helper spring, so we're gonna be able to push it up with our hand with our uh, with our strength. Ah shit! Wow. You guys seeing that? Push it up by hand, and I'm gonna let it go. So the suspension is supposed to travel up fully and down fully, right? It can't, if you saw earlier on the other side, this control, this control arm was basically a one spot binding with the metal to metal on that connecting point right there and there and there and there, right? So the benefit of these bushings is that they have this thing in the middle and it can move independently from compared yep. from the bushing. It has a floating sleeve. And they are longer lasting and they're they're serviceable. Let me see if I can get one from the garbage so I can show you what I mean. So this is the factory bushing. This center metal part, which is what I showed you on the other one, is basically fused with this rubber, right? So if the control arm wants to move, let me see if this thing focuses or not. Okay, when the controller wants to go up or down, the bolt is a bolt combined with this touching that metal, it's gonna bind and not allow the control arm to go up and down as efficient and they're the surface so this these things usually get cracked and and worn out like there's others that i took out that had like a crack in the center from old use like just being old and overused and basic basic wear and tear but The positive things about these bushing is that one they last longer two they're serviceable three they're a lot more they're a lot stiffer so it makes the ride for sport oriented activity a lot more that's not helping this this video Gio we got there where's that from where's that from this car yeah. That's in this car? Yeah. Damn, it looks like brand new. Yes, sir. Only 100,000 miles up. <laughs> but for competition and spirited driving, those bushings are better. And yeah. they don't bind. The exhaust stays super nice and shiny like that and we drive at 100 miles per hour all the time. That's my... Uh, He's going to get to 100 miles per hour. This is actually Albert's car. One of my, ally my alignment guy's car. Yeah. Our race father. Our race father. 
Okay, so he actually made a request for me. Here, Jill. I gotta, I gotta do it because it's that, that time, huh? It was that was special. There. Start it again. I did. Is it filming? Yeah. All right. Is it really? My name is Lander, and I got beat in autocross by Albert from Apex Alignment. He had a uh, basically a broken leg, and. Uh, He's better than me that day. Uh, that's sort of that's far as I'm gonna go, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna go another inch. Another word, another vowel, but that's it. That's one for hour, zero for uh Lander, the uh the competition goes on. I mean I, I wasn't trying, but that's two out of three, right? That, that's huh? It's it's the best two out of three. No, it's not. No. But God save them the day I, I bring my real tires. Sorry, you were on. Hey, you tape. got your thing, okay? That's it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Actually, on Tony's car, we're dealing with some gremlins with his electrical system. No, no, they're not gremlins. They're assholes. Yeah. His AC system is not working, and it was working intermittently, and now that's not working. So, we're trying to just figure this one out. It's kind of... It works physically. I mean, like, we can bypass stuff and make it work. It's just it's not safe on the components if we do that. In terms of wiring, there's an issue there. Yeah, there's either, an issue somewhere. But the wiring or button somewhere. But a disclaimer is, when it left this house... It was working flawlessly. Flawlessly. With no issues. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, man. You know? Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's hot. No, it doesn't always cold when it's hot. Oh... But yes, everyone, this car, we should be done by tomorrow. This one, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm beginning to just, maybe I'll tell Tony to just buy uh, two gallons of gasoline, pour it on it, and just light a match. Hey, man, if you're, if you're on fire and you go off, you're colder already. Exactly. You can, there's no greater appreciation for... Temp like room temperature than when you're not when you're on fire. Right? When you're on fire. So. Case closed, caso cerrado. Caso cerrado for sure. You know it. Tony, what's up, everyone? Today we are kind of like touching base with these cars. So this car, if you guys remember from previous videos. You see that the frame rails are fucked. So, guess what we're doing? We're adding the Fly Miata frame rails. Oof, it's gonna look nice once this thing gets peeled back. Ooh. So, Gio got a head start on this earlier today. So he's pretty much almost done. We're gonna drill the holes and then kind of paint it and then put the bolts back on and most likely just put some uh, RTV on the bolts to seal the holes a little bit. And that's it for this car, at least for now. It did have a header that was missing 3D studs that were like broken. So replace that. And then this bad boy I just took off all the control arms because uh, we're replacing that. Replacing the bushings on the control arms like we did on the previous car. So everything is just out already. And um, basically we're almost done with both cars. Me and Gio make a good team. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to start working on my car because I want to cut a few things there that, to make it fit better on the in intake. And um, I want to shorten my cable. So on my throttle, throttle body. And I haven't had time to adjust my front splitter that is curved. I don't know if you guys can see from here. Has a little 
oblong curve. Austin, one of my friends, kind of pointed that out, and I, I need to fix that. And uh, yeah, these two cars are almost done. So, can't wait to finish them to get, I think, another two cars in here as soon as possible. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching.